On his recent visit to NFL Films, Marshawn Lynch, the man nicknamed Beast Mode, was in full beast mode, just like he was when he led the Seahawks to a shocking upset of the defending champion Saints in the 2010 playoffs. Turn and hand to Lynch, left side. Finds a little bit of a hole, keeps his legs moving. He's across the 40, midfield, 45, he's on the run, Lynch, 40. Pushes the man, 35, look at him go. He's down to 20, 15, he's going to go. He is going to go. Touchdown, Seahawks. Oh, my word. Marshawn Lynch, unbelievable. The beast is alive and well. I don't know if you can, like, get into it. You know, this ain't something you could go home and be like, I want to get in beast mode. I want to get in beast mode. Nah, that ain't the way it works. Beast mode is already inside of you. Beast mode ran so hard that seismic activity was recorded near Quest Field. Yes, he literally caused an earthquake. He just didn't feel it or hear it. You don't hear nothing. All I heard was the, the ruffle of my shoulder pads and breathing. What a run! 67 yards by Marshawn Lynch! And when he made it back to the bench, how did he celebrate? By doing the same thing he's done since high school, eating the pack of Skittles his mother gives him before every game. This is breaking news. That the key to your success is Skittles, the greatest huh? run in NFL history came from some damn Skittles. Lynch will keep that football, huh? Are you kidding me? That ought to go up on the mantle forever, right? After the run, I took that same ball to the referees uh, on our next offensive series. Like, I need to close the game out with this ball. Is that all right? It was, and he did. But when the game ended, Lynch went to the locker room without the ball. Where's the ball? Who knows? You don't have the ball? I do not have the ball. Oh, that's a crime. What are you telling? It is unbelievable. Can yep. we edit that? Yeah. I don't want nobody to know that because I got a fake ball. Oh, you don't? <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> he may not have the ball to remind him of his run, but listening to him explain every detail of what happened you can be sure he'll never forget it. So we get into the huddle and they call 17 power. I was like, oh my God, I've been trying to get a power for so long. Hey, don't roll this, hit it, hit it downhill. With power, you run it straight downhill. You know where we coming and we know where y'all gonna be lined up at. Now you just gotta stop it. I'm saying I'm better than you. Hey, so I see the guard come around and in my head I'm thinking backside A gap. But for some reason, it carried me to the front side. Bounce off the first tackle like, uh-oh, might be trouble. Split between Spencer's block, coming off of Sharper. He grabbed at my foot, I stayed up. I said, uh-oh, it might be trouble. Covered ball with two hands. One of my old teammates, Jabbar Greer, came over the top. He slid off. It's a good run now, but I'm like, uh-oh, it might be trouble. Tracy Porter came up. I gave him a little stiff arm, you know. I stayed on my feet. Get off me, he says to Tracy Porter. Are you kidding me? We almost was running at top speed. So, I mean, you know, any kind of shove right there would have, you know, threw a man off course. It's, it's just a little baby stiff arm. Yeah, a little baby stiff arm. I believe it was Ellis came from behind. I, I took a little quick peek at him and gave him a little stiff arm. Still didn't go down. Uh-oh, I know it's trouble. The next thing I know, Tyler shot in front of me. Look at the hustle by Columbus. They go make a block on Harper. Dive into the end zone, touchdown. And at the time, I'm just thinking like, what the hell just happened? Did this really just happen? That same reaction instantly occurred throughout the football world. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's the greatest run I ever seen. And that's a bold statement. That's like, that was, that's the greatest run. I put that number one against any run. Oh my God. While Lynch was at NFL Films, 
we showed him some other legendary runs. That's beast mode right there. <laughs> That's truly it. Uh-oh. Watch out now. Watch out now. Bam! Can you go back? His chest probably still hurt when you see that. Sweetness. Hey, hey, now. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, where, where'd the little guy go? Young, in trouble. He's going to be sacked. No, gets away. He runs, gets away again, goes to the 40. This was ridiculous. Gets away again. Quarterback, too. Cuts back at the 30. Cuts at 20. You seen what the little baby stiff on? <laughs> Guess it hurts. That, that wasn't a baby stiff on. That, that wasn't no baby stiff on. He mushed him. He mushed him all the way to the ground, too. Break the third tackle. Comes down to the 30. He's down to the 20. He's down to the 10. He's down to the 5. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Yeah, that was nice. Oh, look at this run. What a run. Marshawn Lynch. I mean, when you put them together with all them great runs, it don't feel like it was me. That's as good an effort as I've ever seen in my life from a running back. But that was me, though. So where does his run stack up among the best ever? Well, Lynch isn't worried about his place in NFL history. But as he toured the place where football history is preserved, the man who had one beauty of a run showed that, uh-oh, his beast mode and his baby stiff arm might be trouble. All right, Marshawn, thanks for coming today. Really appreciate it. No problem. Beast mode. Beast mode. Beast mode.